Hey everybody, it's GED question of the daytime and looks like we've got a word problem. So let's take a look. A certain taco bar offers four kinds of meat, three kinds of cheese, three kinds of salsa, and the option of hard or soft taco shells. How many unique tacos can be created using one type of meat, one cheese, one salsa, and one type of shell? So clearly we're making gringo tacos over here with the shells and the salsas. I mean with the shells and the cheese. But um, what kind of a problem is this? Well, look at the question. How many unique tacos can I make with all these ingredients? This is a counting problem. They're just asking me to count up the number of possible tacos. A counting problem. Um, but a lot of students aren't quite sure how to deal with a problem like this. So um, I did a simpler one uh, two days ago. It's a up counting problem example one. So go take a look at that um, if you feel confused after this video, but I'm just going to launch right in assuming that you've seen that one. So let's start with the four kinds of meat that they have. So I don't know. It's probably beef, pork, chicken, and uh, shrimp. I don't know. I'm just making crap up. Okay, y'all. So let's pretend like the four kinds of meat are beef, pork, chicken, and shrimp. Right from the beginning, I already have four tacos I can make. Now let's consider the cheeses. If I have beef, I'm going to have an option of any one of my three cheeses. Now maybe my cheeses are cheddar. Uh, you know, it could be Jack. And the other one could be Cotija. And I'm going to just use a different letter for Cotija. But if I have cheddar, Jack, to Cotija, right away from just by doing the beef and the cheeses, I have three options. And I could do the same three options with my pork and the same three options with my um, chicken and the same three options with my shrimp. And so right away, I already have the four meat options times each one of those has the three cheese options. Um, so each one of those ends up with three more options. Now imagine if I went from there. I also have three kinds of salsa. So on each one of these end tacos, I could get three more kinds of tacos out of them by going with the mild, medium, or hot. Mild, medium, or hot. So now I'm going to multiply each one of these by the three kinds of salsas. Mild, medium, or hot. And that's not my only option. After I figure out if I want mild, medium, or hot, from there I've got another choice to make. I got another choice to make. I could either have a hard or soft taco shell. Hard or soft taco. So how many options is that? Well, just hard or soft, that's only two options. And so each step of the way, I'm going to multiply by my number of options. And I can see here, um, let's see, 4 times 3 is 12. And I know I can multiply in any order I want. 3 times 2 is 6. And 12 times 6 is 72. And that's without even mixing cheeses and salsas. I've already got 72 taco options. Delicious. I, I, it's making me want to go home and eat tacos. Is it Tuesday? It's not. It's not Tuesday, y'all. I was like, is it Taco Tuesday? It's Wednesday. Never mind. Anyway, though, <laughs> 72 options for tacos. It's a good day, whatever day it is. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments.